how to assemble the warehouse from Iron Horse Hobby. Stick around, that's coming up next. Hey, this is Brian with the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to my channel and my video on how to assemble the warehouse from Iron Horse Hobbies. I'm going to be assembling a Z scale copy. I'm going to show you a little bit about that in my Tinkercad program right now so you can see a little bit about what it looks like. All right, here we are in Tinkercad showing the warehouse. And as you can see, we do have engraved play, uh, letters on the base that match the letters on the wall. So for easy placement, easy location. And so here is a look at the model in the CAD program. All right. I said these signs can be personalized pre or post purchase. And now what I'm going to do is show you how to assemble a Z scale copy of the model. The assembly is exactly the same in Z or N scale. I haven't decided if I'm going to produce this model in HO scale or not because it's going to have a pretty big footprint. I might do it if anybody's really interested. Reach out to me at ironhorsehobbiessmk at gmail.com. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flash you down to the desk. I'm going to show you all the pieces. I have everything out here except for the accessories. And those are pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to show you, take you. So I'm just going to walk you through the assembly process um, and show you how to put this guy together. It's not hard at all. All right. So what we're looking at here is, let's move this. They go right there. Spit them on them over for a second. All right. We have A, B, C, D, and E. All right. Then we have one, two, three, four. Then you have your dots. So, and you have your roof and your roof. All right. This model also comes with roof inserts that aren't shown. This model also comes with interior inserts that aren't shown. And what those do is those fit in the gaps, all right, to ensure that you don't have any light bleed, all right? The model also comes with a sign here and a sign for here that is customizable. Um, so if you catch me pre-purchase, I can make it... Uh, whatever you want it to be and post-purchase we can work that out as well with a self-addressed stamped envelope all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to pause the video because i'm going to go grab the roof inserts and the reason why i'm going to grab the roof inserts is they can be used as a square to keep the model square that's why i don't go ahead and print them to the roofs themselves because you can use them as a square to keep the model square so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to come back to you when i have those inserts and then we're going to assemble this guy it doesn't take long and it's not hard all right so i'm back with those inserts that i told you about check this out right here see this actually has a bed that it fits into on the roof and so it glues into the roof and what it does is, is it prevents any light bleed at the top right what it can do in the meat and it also it makes the roof fit like a lid it kind of snaps in right so uh, you don't have to glue it on which gives you access to the interior if you want to add lights or if you want to have you know warehouse boxes and uh, you could have forklifts that kind of thing in there because you got plenty of openings to see things on the interior but this also can be used as a square while you're while you're assembling the model 
that's why I didn't go ahead and print it attached to the roof because it works well as a square. I also have one for the little main building and roof. Okay, these are the interior inserts that I mentioned to you. Okay, and if you need these, this one is the one that goes right here. And so if you need these, these can be glued after post wall assembly into the corners to prevent any gaps in light bleed. All right, but I have tried to prevent any need for that okay and why how i've done that is i have beveled the edges what is this oh no. a little string all right i have beveled the edges all right to the appropriate complementary angle so for example this one meets at a pretty tight at a 45 so the ends are beveled to the appropriate angle to prevent any light bleed in the first place but in the event that you still have any you got the inserts and all this has been considered because i love to use leds in my models so that's why you have these holes here for your led wires to go down through the bottom that's why you have the interior roof insert and the interior inserts to prevent light bleed all right let's get to it let's assemble the model okay so what i usually do and i think i will this time too is i go ahead and i'm going to do the main building first and then i'll come in and do the office at the end this back all right okay again a b c d e a b c d e your model should have a b c d e engraved right here and your pieces should have A, B, C, D, E engraved on them. Keep things simple.
if you purchase this model you don't have the roof that looks like this you have a standing seam metal roof also if you purchase this model your underside of your roof has a bed that shows you exactly where this roof insert goes okay I hadn't done that I hadn't upgraded the model yet when I printed this one so I'm just gonna have to do it to the best of my ability it is uh, your your model will have a tighter fit than this um, because of the bed the, the guide the guide bed that shows you exactly where to put it I was able to make it more exact I had left some clay in it um, and it was like this because kind of got an eyeball where to put it or you can put some paint on the top I wanted to do that and then set the roof on there where you want it and you would see an outline all I want to do is just make sure Somewhat finished. Okay. Gonna give that a minute to dry. This roof comes with pilot holes, show you exactly where the sign should go. This roof also comes with a pilot hole for your wires for your LED because this roof comes with a little ramp that you set your LED on and it points it right at the sign. Looks cool. Alright, we are back. Let's put this main building together. Alright. You got one, two, three, four. So you got one, two, three, and four. All right. We got doors that go on this and these little strings in the windows are easily trimmed out. Nothing to it. All right.
all right? Those need to go in the corner. Remember, if you purchase the model, you're getting a different roof that has a beveled edge inside to hold the insert, and it is uh, tighter, so it almost snaps in. All right, another thing is, if you purchase the model, you will be getting um, doors, obviously, for every opening. And the doors have a peg on the top, and the frames on the interior have a hull. And uh, properly put together, the doors will swing and open. If I have an example for you, I'm going to put it in here right now. If you purchased this model already and you did not personalize the sign, I'm going to need you to send me an email at ironhorsehobbiessmk at gmail.com. And I want you to do that so I can give you my address so you can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will personalize the sign for you at no charge as long as you purchase the model. Um, again, you'll have uh, raised seam roofs. You will get doors for all these openings. And these doors have a peg on the top and these uh, in opening and these door frames have a hole inside properly assembled the doors can open and close all right all right this is brian with iron horse hobbies thanking you for watching this how-to video on how to assemble the iron horse hobbies warehouse this was a z scale assembly my first time to assemble a z scale model it was fun it was small but the n scale is pretty small already this is Brian with the Iron Horse Root and Iron Horse Hobbies, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, and we are thank want to thank you for watching this video with us today. I do want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other modeling friends. And you should see a pick and pick right now with links, and those are other models that I've designed. If you want to learn more about them, just click the link, and that'll give you more information. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other modeling friends.